Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFancyers. And so uh, last week we have installed this uh, particular uh, Infinity X 2.7 official on our uh, Redmi Note 11. So in this video, we will going to dive into full uh, review of this and I will be discussing a lot more. So just buckle up and let's get started. So first and foremost, uh, we'll start with the build details. Uh, this is uh, currently running with the Android 15 with the security patch of 5th April 2025. Also, the another good thing is like uh, this one uh, having the kernel of uh, 4.1.235. Uh, and then uh, this uh, particular uh, build was happened very uh, few days back which is uh, 11 April 2025. Uh, before even I uh, start this video I have to tell that there are multiple things uh, which I like about uh, this particular one even uh, compared to Hypervoice there are multiple things I love a lot. The first thing the first and foremost thing is the app opening and closing animation. Uh, this I have uh, particularly I have uh, mentioned in the uh, Hypervoice video that uh, the hypervoice doesn't support that but here you see i am actually opening the youtube app and if i close here it is actually going really really well see and then it is going inside the particular app see so this is how uh, the fluid this uh, particular os from the starting to the end the android 15 has much more uh, stabilization and the uh, overall app management there are really a uh, few things uh, like this uh, opening and closing also there is another option like i have enabled this uh, uh, navbar apps uh, in the recent as well so here you see if i close here it will automatically go like this it will be coming really cute and if I go and click here, it will be opening and I can directly close. And if I again uh, open this uh, recent app, it will be nicely coming. So uh, this particular uh, uh, thing is working really, really great. I love a lot. And this volume uh, rocker styles and the fluidity here and here, all the things are with the 90 hertz display option. It is great. So, and the second thing that I have like to uh, tell is this uh, Monad theme. Like once you go inside the setting, you have this lab icon, right? Once you uh, click here, you have uh, opened with the multiple options. Here you have the Monad option where you can uh, select the multiple uh, theming uh, structures and other things. But the one feature which I liked the most is this, uh, is the uh, under the theme option, you have the uh, boot animation, which you can uh, change it. You would have seen the Infinity X uh, OS uh, boot animation. But if you go here, you have the Pixel, Cyberpunk and CTOS and I think it's Evaluation X Retro. So if I select uh, Cyberpunk and boot animation is enabled. Now if I go here and restart, see, now uh, this uh, Cyberpunk uh, really cool looking uh, boot animation is happening. This is really fun. If you, do, if you don't like the Infinity uh, XOS uh, boot animation, you can directly just uh, set it to the Google Fixer animation and you can delete it as a Fixel device. Everybody will believe. I will tell you why. So once you open the device and you also have uh, the support to the uh, fingerprint and the face unlock which is working really really uh, perfectly fine. So you can open here and in the setting you can click here in the uh, lab you can go to the miscellaneous. So here is where all the fun things are there. If you click on spoofing you have the multiple spoof option like you can uh, spoof the G apps. Uh, to enable the what uh, integrity things and uh, think that it is a uh, Fixel 9 Pro and you have the enable uh, uh, tensor features like uh, it will support all the Fixel uh, features in uh, Google uh, apps like uh, photos or something and you have an option to unlock the higher FPS in the games which is really really great which we will be going to uh, test it and you have the uh, GMF spoof fix which will enable the Google Play uh, certification uh, sorry integrity fix. So so all the things are there and you the better thing is like you have the unlimited google photo storage which is again great so which will almost uh, make the system feels like it's a pixel device so i really really like this setting so yeah this is one of the biggest advantages of this uh, uh, room and uh, biggest advantages of moving from hyper os to this uh, custom room and one thing that i have telling it is a problematic and problematic which is the youtube so if i open it in here and i can directly click it in here in here so if i hold here 
you have the option for the free form so it is not just like a, a normal free form like you can just resize and increase and decrease you have a back button as well you can play it in here as well and you can uh, play a video in here background and you can open the instagram and you can uh, peacefully use it uh, there is no problem on uh, making it useful so this is one feature which i was uh, missing in the hyper os now i have it in here i can just uh, go through the news and play some uh, podcast or something in the back end so this is one of the cool feature which i really really like also uh, this particular device supports uh, with the 33 watt uh, uh, charging which works perfectly in hyper os here as well uh, it works perfectly fine also i have uh, did the testing with the accu battery of battery drainage and the uh, charging so charging just uh, works as fine as the uh, custom room it will take some one hour 20 minutes like almost uh, uh, 80 to 90 minutes to fully charge and uh, the battery longs uh, lasts like uh, seven hours which is almost the same as hyper os if your hyper is giving you for you eight hours this one also may give like uh, seven seven and a half hours so battery it's not uh, that bad when i uh, if you compare it uh, with the hyper os also uh, the another good thing is like uh, you have the call recording feature by default you can record the calls without even the uh, announcing the uh, opposite uh, person whoever in the other side and you have the uh, carrier aggregation which helps you in terms of getting the uh, signal uh, sorry multiple band with so i have uh, first checked it was not there but when i have when i went to this uh, settings and network and then sim card in the sim card you have the option to force the lta ca so please make sure to enable this this is not enabled by default so enable this so that all the uh, carrier related things uh, works fine the internet speed which i was getting is as same as the hyper os so network wise i am not facing any issue also now we will uh, get into the uh, section where i have uh, run the multiple uh, uh, performance related uh, testing so first thing i try to run the uh, 3d mark uh, which was <laughs> unfortunately uh, not working so i don't know why it is not working so i am unable to test the uh, 3d mark and then i have run the ant2 so ant2 score wise we are getting around uh, 3 lakh uh, 3000 which is uh, less than the uh, ant2 which we get it in hyper os hyper os i got almost 3 lakh 8000 so some 5000 here and there it got uh, reduced so i believe that is fine it's not a big uh, thing geekbench 6 wise it is a uh, uh, what uh, in uh, hyper os i was getting around 394 and multi score 3 uh, 1398 but here i got higher uh, also i got the uh, graphical wise uh, 347 which is almost uh, uh, same as the hyper os so there isn't any performance cut happening in this one also multitasking wise this is really works fine i have uh, see it's uh, uh, just uh, opens uh, really uh, good uh, works fine and you can uh, continuously use like uh, three to four apps uh, in a time so yeah let's talk about the camera so camera wise i have installed the gcam and uh, have used some xml file so the gcam is working perfectly fine uh, so these are some of the photos which i took it in uh, 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 gcam so gcam wise this uh, photos are coming really great and this is the portrait mode and i am not a big fan of uh, uh, this uh, inbuilt leica camera this is uh, particularly uh, making it like a more uh, bright and uh, uh, washed out it's not uh, giving much detail as like as uh, uh, gcam so uh, cv uh, this particular uh, leica camera is working uh, fine you can use it to take a normal photo and uh, other things but if you want to uh, consider serious photos and uh, videography uh, just go with the, the google camera i have made a dedicated video as well for the google camera you can go and uh, um, check it out uh, there are a uh, few things which i have to tell like uh, this uh, i have run the uh, stress test so stress test wise it is uh, better than the hyper os so in hyper os i was getting like 74 to 80 percentage of stability but here i got a 95 percentage uh, with the highest uh, uh, max of 1.8 lakh and the average is 1.7 lakh of uh, points but in hyper os i was getting the average of 1.4 lakh so which is almost some 20 or 10 20 percentage stability which is uh, gathered all over the uh, start to the end 
so stability wise this is really really good room also this is the official 2.7 so you may get the ot update which perfectly works and you can do the uh, data flash and it will uh, work so i have to uh, tell you about uh, this cts situation like in some apps i have used two three apps to check the integrity of the uh, cta one app is uh, telling that uh, the CTA is passing by uh, default and uh, uh, play integrity is uh, working. So I am using, I am able to use all the uh, payment apps and other things, but still it is some sort of uh, uh, gray area in terms of uh, safety net because I tried with this uh, particular safety net, which usually works here. It was uh, telling it is failed. It is telling I can't access Google pay services, but you have the properties in the uh, setting where it helps you to oh, enable the uh, Google, uh, sorry, uh, CTS uh, passed by default. I installed this HDFC app and GPay, so it is uh, working. So, so what is not good about uh, this one? Well, uh, ninety percent, about ninety-five percent is I am just uh, liking this uh, ROM. If you ask me whether you go ahead and use uh, this as a daily driver, I will definitely use it. It is much much better than the Hyper OS. But whether uh, is it like uh, uh, the best or something? Well. This is the best <laughs> ROM for, uh, to be honest, after the long time I'm telling, this is really, really good ROM. There are multiple glitches here and there, like this uh, 3D mark, it is not at all running. It is whenever it is running, it is uh, telling I'm unable to run due to this uh, RAM issue or something. If you have 60p RAM variant, that may work. And another time is like whenever I use uh, YouTube or whenever there is an app which uses the horizontal to vertical, that time this particular navbar from here to it is going to the middle. So that kind of issue is coming and then sometimes there are uh, random uh, uh, glitches here and there. So those are all like very, very uh, minimal, which is not a showstopper. You can just uh, uh, use it. So yeah. Okay. So this is the overall review of this. If you want to use uh, this as your daily driver, you can use it. For day-to-day -day users, you won't feel any problem. You have the headphone jack working and speaker, Bluetooth, audio, all the things working perfectly fine. You can use it as a daily driver. So that's what about the review of uh, this one. If you like it, uh, just leave a like and subscribe to TechFanches for more uh, Redmi Note 11 related videos. I will make the very next video of uh, this one uh, only particularly for uh, gaming, like how it is working, like uh, uh, what are the features you have related to gaming. So stay tuned for that due to the duration of this video. I'm just cutting it in here. Thanks for watching. Good morning.